Good morning, y'all. It's the Mick Advisor here with you once again. This morning, I'm in Watford, the United Kingdom, at the Premier Inn, just on the outside of Watford Town, about one kilometre from Vicarage Road, the Watford Football Stadium, if you were coming over for a match. Or maybe you might be just coming to visit Watford itself. Or we're about 30, 40 minutes from London. A nice little stop off. Very reasonably priced. I'm going to take you inside. You get two nights. And this is Thursday and Friday night. You get two nights in this Premier Inn for about £100 or maybe €120. Euros. Um, which is for absolutely nothing really. So I'm going to take you inside now and give you a look. So this is the inside of the Premier Inn. You have a nice little chill out area here. Um, nice for relaxing, nice here at night time actually. You have your little lamp in the corner. Charging pints, very comfortable seating. And you're just outside at the reception of the hotel. Have your usual vending machine. Very friendly staff here. There's a lovely girl here. I must find out her name at reception. Um, she was very helpful when we checked in last night. Very friendly. Up for the banter and the crack. You have your lifts up to the second and the third floor. That's the bar and the dining room. And there I'll take you inside. But first of all, I want to take you up to the room and show you look. So we're on the second floor. This is a very big Premier Inn. I was surprised by it. I think it's my first time staying in a Premier Inn. Nice long spacious corridors. Room 228. I'm going to take you inside now. I'm going to give you a wee look. I'll give you a little bit of light in here now. One second. It is early in the morning and... So when you come into the warm, when you come into the room for the first time, what you realise is it's very spacious. You have your wardrobe space here, hair dryer for the ladies. Not for me, I have no hair, but handy to have it. Um, nice little desk area. Generous TV, it's about 40 inch I reckon, which is quite generous in this day and age. A sofa bed here. If you had a wee one with you, or maybe. If you dragged a queer one back at night time, not me, I'm married, but just, you know. Very comfy, Premier Inn are known for their comfy beds. And that is a comfortable bed. But this is a big room, guys. Yeah, I was surprised by it now. I've never stayed in a prayer, at least I don't think I have. Very spacious, clean room, gorgeous bed. You have um a mattress topper even on top of the you have a mattress topper on top of a very luxurious mattress itself, so yeah, it takes all the boxes there. Full size bat. Um nice bright colours in it. Just a boss man himself. How are you doing? And um, lovely warm water, tea, coffee, facilities. True, a little few bickies in there, which is a nice touch. But yeah, I'm impressed with the room, guys. I have to say, this is the Premier in Watford. We stayed here for about £102 for two nights, Thursday and a Friday night, so you're getting to the weekend. Amounts to about €130. Euros. A room for one or two on that price, and you get breakfast with it. So I'm going to take you downstairs now and show you a look at that. But yeah, I'm impressed with this room. Very impressed with this room. So we're back down into the reception area. So what I noticed about the Premier Inns, they're very bright as you walk in. They're very bright and, every, and everything is kind of um, so accessible, so handy. Everything is, you know, it's, 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 it's really close together. And they have a lovely little bar in here. And... Um, the breakfast here now is um, continental breakfast. They have they have full they have full they have full Irish breakfast. So it's a self it's a self it's a self service kind of a thing. But yeah, you know you have it's a small place, but you have plenty you have plenty you have plenty of seating. And um, the breakfast is um, as you can see it's a self service. It ticks the boxes. This is a kind of um, this is kind of. Um, This is a very well-run Premier Inn. The bar is very nice. Um, they have your Strongbow Guinness. They have cores. They have everything on tap. 
um, that you need, you know what I mean? But you have to remember, a lot of people use these, business people will use these hotels as a, a stop-off maybe before they go into London, or they might be just putting their head down after a busy night. But we find you now this is very handy if you're going to a football match or just going in to see London itself and you're staying on the outskirts. So I'm going to tuck into some breakfast now. And I'll let you know. In my remarks, I'll take it back to the room and I'll, let, I'll give you my honest opinion. But you can get a breakfast and a two-course dinner with a drink, a pint for 24 99 which is not bad in this day and age. So I want to take you inside now for a look. No, oh, shouldn't you understand yeah, me? Don't take it in, no. black or white pudding. Yeah, and it's not. So here's the breakfast in the Premier Inn in Watford. This is a full English. You can get your juices with it. Pancakes, muffins, all the little treats, all for, all including your price. That's what you call a fine breakfast. Yeah, I'm going to talk into this little bad boy now. And I'll report back to you in a few minutes. So, so there's breakfast number two that one of the boys had. That's what you call a well-cooked breakfast now. Two sausages, bacon, pudding, hash brown. Perfectly scrambled egg and the juices. Mm-mm-mm. So what's nice about this guys is they give you a kettle, you got to make your own fresh tea and I actually quite like that. Some people might think it's a cop out but I actually like that simply because how often do you get tea and it's cold. So you have a very impressive breakfast here at the Premier Inn. So guys just to finish it up, that is the beautiful Premier Inn outside Watford. Town centre is down this way, guys, just one kilometre. Has absolutely everything from shopping centres to your Primarks to your next. Some nice big brands down there. Train station is just behind if you want to catch a train into London. You have a Tesco extra just across here and all your little forecourts with all your Smith's tie stores, your Woodies, etc. and all that. Yeah, so look, Premier Inn Watford. Absolutely gorgeous. Saw the breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast would be nine. The breakfast would be nine out of ten, all day long. Absolutely fantastic. The room, as you saw, a very spacious room. Room nine out of ten. Bed nine out of ten. Shower and toilet area, nine out of ten. Very spacious. Full bath. Hot water. I have to say one thing. I've gone to a lot of hotels around the UK, and you could find no offence. I know Ireland, Europe. Staff can be a bit cold. The staff here are fantastic. I'm going to leave them a good review. One girl in particular, I must find out her name at reception when we came in last night. She was very friendly. She couldn't do enough for us. Um, Location-wise, as I said, one kilometre walk. A lovely little walk down here, very safe, into the town of Watford itself. So location is 9 out of 10. You're only one kilometre, one mile max from Vicarage Road, which is Watford's football team home ground. I'm going to leave my... Marks and my comments on the front here. So look out as always. And, and if you could, send me on a little like and a subscribe as I build this channel from you. So from me, the Mick Advisor, until the next time from Watford, just outside London in the United Kingdom, over and out.